गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स I hope you are, you can see my slide. Yes. Am I audible? If yes, please type yes. I know it's eight students have been watching me right now. Yes, Ashar, thank you so much for being so supportive and kind. Thank you, Anam. Sharif, अब ये draw easy कौन है? I don't know. Please put your name so that it becomes easy for me to acknowledge you. Oh my God, Wolf O P. चलो, <laughs> anyways, let us begin with our presentation. Okay. So today. we will be doing the second part of uh, the unit that is semester 1 we have talked about in energy and environment in the earlier classes we have uh, we have started with the uh, unit 1 also we have done with the basic calculations and right so today we'll be done uh, starting with uh, the second part of the unit that is uh, bomb calorie meter okay so let me also be a part of you so let us begin with the unit that is unit 1 second part that is bomb calorie meter in the previous class what we have studied was the sources of energy the classification of energy on the basis of its occurrence on the basis of its state right the various units which has been assigned to the important parameter of energy that is calorific meter i suppose that is clear okay and if you have any doubt you may tell me personally or you may post on whatsapp group so that the topic which is not been understood by you will be taken care of okay now let us begin with today's topic that is bomb calorie meter now see i'll be repeating the objectives and the course outcome continuously because uh, this is important part of our syllabus okay so course objectives are been there and you should be aware of the terms course objectives course outcome so there are three course objectives okay i'm not reading it it is we known to you we have course outcome so after completing your sem 1 you will be able to fulfill six course outcome fine so the content of the unit uh, is again been displayed here for your ease and for your understanding the red colored one the highlighted one right it is been completed by me in the previous class okay so we are being moving further ahead that is we'll be doing the determination of calorific value by bomb calorie meter today okay so the course outcome for this unit is to obtain the knowledge of solid and gaseous fuel and the calorific value determination okay so what is bomb calorie meter in this topic we will be studying about the principle right where it will be used how it has been constructed in a very simple and a schematic way the diagram the calculation part and a various correction which has been incorporated here so before starting with the word bomb calorie meter just find out what is calorie meter can anyone tell me what is calorie meter have you heard about the term calorie meter no no one has heard hmm? is anyone you may put your answer in chat box what do you mean by calorie meter please break the word calorie meter hmm 
अच्छा ओके नो वरीज लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू जस्ट प्लीज ब्रेक द वर्ड कैलरी एंड मीटर यस्टरडे इन द लास्ट क्लास आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द कैलरीफिक वैल्यू येस सो इट कैलरी इज रिलेटेड टू द कैलरीफिक वैल्यू मीटर इज नथिंग बट अ वे बाई विच वी कैन मेजर मेजर कर सकते हैं या इट इज द वे बाई विच वी कैन डू द मेजरमेंट सो वेन वी मेजर द कैलरी दैट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज नोन एज कैलरी मीटर इन अदर वर्ड्स an instrument which is been used to measure the calorific value of a given component is known as calorie meter okay so we are studying what bomb calorie meter so the calorific value of basically the solid or the non volatile fuel please mark these words solid or non volatile fuel solid or non volatile liquid fuel is basically been used here for the determination of calorific value okay yaad rakhna hai this word solid and non volatile liquid fuel will be very much useful while we will be doing the calculation based on bomb calorie meter okay please mark the word solid and non volatile fuel solid make which uh, what all fuels come in solid wood peat lignite anthracite coal bituminous semi bituminous coal in fact the biscuits also it comes in solid so whatever which whatever matter which can be burnt or which undergoes combustion and produces energy we will be using that here okay non volatile liquid fuel means non volatile which is not easily volatile matlab which does not vaporize easily those fuels we can use here for the determination of its calorific value let us find out the principle what is the principle behind bomb calorie meter see a known weight of the sample be it a solid or a liquid it has been burnt in excess of oxygen the before yesterday i told you what is combustion yes so for combustion you requires oxygen so a known weight of sample is been burnt right in excess of oxygen and then heat is been produced the heat produced it has been absorbed by the water which is been surrounding the calorie meter okay and the liberated heat during the combustion of the fuel will be equal to the heat transferred to the water or which has been absorbed by the water in the copper calorie meter so the higher calorific value of the fuel has been calculated from the obtained data so this is nothing but the principle about bomb calorie meter i hope i am clear am i clear yes shall i proceed further i suppose you people have uh, switched on your youtube and you ran away no one is answering yes or no it's clear okay let us proceed i hope the principle has been clear what we are going to do is we are going to burn a known weight of fuel in excess of oxygen the fuel undergoes combustion it will produce certain energy the energy will be heat or energy the energy will be taken up by this water which has been surrounding the copper calorie meter or a simple calorie meter and then the transfer of the heat which has been there in the water will be calculated in terms of temperature and all and we'll do the further calculation so that we obtain the higher calorific value let's see about the construction the uh, this is the things which is been written for the construction part what i will be doing is i'm going to show you the diagram and from the diagram i'm going to tell you how the construction is been done and how the working basically takes place okay fine so just we'll just read the construction part and then in very simple language i'll explain you the exact construction okay a simple bomb calorie meter consists of a strong cylindrical stainless steel vessel which is corrosion resistant and capable of withstanding very high pressure that is called as bomb it is provided with a lid which can be screwed tightly to the body of bomb to make a perfect gas tight seal The lid is provided with two stainless steel electrode and an oxygen inlet wall. A small ring is been attached to one of the electrode, which act as a support for the crucible. 
The bomb is placed in a copper calorimeter, which is surrounded by air jacket and water jacket to prevent the loss of heat due to radiation. The calorimeter has been provided with electrically operated starter and a Bixman thermometer, which can read accurately the temperature difference up to one by hundredth of a degree centigrade. Okay. The bomb has been placed in a copper calorimeter, which is surrounded by air jacket and water jacket to prevent the loss of heat radiation. The calorimeter is provided with an electrically operated stirrer and a Bixman thermometer, which can read one by hundredth of a degree centigrade. Okay, right? Okay, बहुत कुछ बता दिया मैंने. Now let us switch into the diagram. I suppose the diagram is clear now. बनाएंगे कैसे? How the construction will takes place? Uh, see, I have taken this diagram from S S Dara. I've been using certain reference book. Uh, SS Dara is the reference book from where I have taken the diagram. Uh, at present, the diagram seems to be a bit blur, but no worries. Uh, the things will be taken care when the notes will be provided to you. Now, see how the construction is being done. This is this the inner lid. Can you see the arrow? The arrow I'm been moving on the screen. Can you see the arrow? See the arrow? Yes. Can you see the arrow? Say yes or no. Bilal, I suppose you can see the arrow. You know, yes, Dikshant. Okay, fine. So I'm proceeding forward. Okay, आगे बढ़ते हैं. See how the construction is being done. See, you can see. Okay, Afnan, Sania, Zaid, Ayushi, Aditya, Namra. Everyone can see. Naveed, Piroz, all are being able to see it. Now see how it has been done. Uh, there is this is nothing but the bomb. The chota wala jo dikhra na with the cap. This is a bomb. This is being made up of authentic stainless steel. Authentic stainless steel is actually used here because it can withstand the corrosive effect and it can also withstand very high temperature and pressure. Right, especially it can withstand very high pressure. Okay, fine. So this bomb, small wala, is being made with authentic stainless steel. Okay, fine. It is having a cup. You can say cap with a screw over it. Clear? Okay. A screw is there. A uh, screw is there above here, and this screw is help to uh, tighten up the bomb. Tighten up the bomb so that. There is no radiation, or there nothing goes in, nothing comes out from it. Okay, fine. Whole of this bomb calorimeter, whole of this bomb calorimeter is been lowered into a water, into a copper calorimeter. Can you see this one? So this is basically a copper calorimeter. Okay. Now coming back into the bomb, inside the bomb, you will see two electrodes here. Can you see two electrodes? Yes, these are the two electrodes. These two electrodes are being attached to a six volt battery. Okay, fine. These two electrode basically behaves as the holder. One of the electrode behaves as a holder for stainless steel crucible. Clear? And from the other side. a magnesium fuse wire is been attached to the electrode this magnesium fuse wire is been wounded with copper thread uh, with cotton thread samajh mein aaya dekhiye ye ek chhota sa cup hai jo ki authentic stainless steel ka bana hua hai authentic stainless steel ko chunna isliye gaya chuna isliye gaya hai taki wo corrosive na ho ya usme corrosion na ho pehla reason dusra ye अंदर बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर रहेगा ऑक्सीजन का वो प्रेशर विदस्टैंड करना चाहिए इस कप ने इसलिए ऑस्टेंटिक स्टेनलेस स्टील का बनाया है उसके ऊपर एक कप रखा गया है वो कप क्या है उसको कवर करने के लिए है ताकि कोई चीज अंदर ना आए और कोई चीज बाहर ना जा सके कप के ऊपर एक स्क्रू लगाया है वो स्क्रू क्या करेगा टाइट करके रखेगा ताकि कप का जो लिड है वो निकल ना पाए हो गया ये यस यहाँ पर आप देख रहे हैं देर आर टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स इलेक्ट्रोड्स 
डिप करे अंदर की तरफ आ रहे हैं और ये इलेक्ट्रोड्स किससे अटैच है एक सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी के साथ अटैच किया गया है क्या अब इस इलेक्ट्रोड पे यहाँ पर आप देखेंगे एक छोटा सा होल्डर लगा के रखा गया है जहां पर हम एक स्टेनलेस स्टील के क्रूसिबल को लगा के रखेंगे रखेंगे क्रूसिबल ओके फाइन अच्छा फ्रॉम दीज टू इलेक्ट्रोड ऑल्सो वी कैन सी दो मैग्नीशियम फ्यूज वायर आपस में आ रहे हैं बाहर की तरफ ऐसे वाउंड करा हुआ है और उस मैग्नीशियम फ्यूज वायर के ऊपर हमने कॉटन थ्रेड कॉटन थ्रेड धागा वो लपेट के रखा हुआ है और वो कॉटन थ्रेड यहाँ दोनों आपस में जुड़े हुए हैं और यहाँ एक तरफ दिखेगा आपको अटैच करा हुआ ओके फाइन हो गया इतना अच्छा ये जो दो इलेक्ट्रोड्स हैं एक रॉड इलेक्ट्रोड की जैसा बिहेव करता है और एक बिहेव करता है ट्यूब इलेक्ट्रोड की तरफ जो ट्यूब इलेक्ट्रोड है उसी को हम बोल सकते हैं कि इट बिहेव एज एन इनलेट फॉर ऑक्सीजन ठीक है वन इज रॉड एंड वन अदर वन इज ट्यूब सो द ट्यूब इलेक्ट्रोड इट बिहेव एज एन इनलेट फॉर ऑक्सीजन ओके फाइन उसके बाद आप ये छोटा सा जो बॉम्ब है इसको हम किसके अंदर लोअर डाउन कर देते हैं वी लोअर इट डाउन इन टू अ कॉपर कैलरी मीटर दिस कॉपर कैलरी मीटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ बेक्समैन थर्मामीटर एंड एन इलेक्ट्रिकली ड्रिवन स्टर स्टरिंग करेंगे हम ओके फाइन और नीचे हमने इसको बिकॉज नीचे नहीं रख सकते हैंस फोर्थ वी हैव केप्ट दिस एलिवेटेड सो दैट दिस बॉम्ब इज बीन सराउंडेड बाई दी वॉटर थ्रू आउट ओके द होल ऑफ दिस कॉपर कैलरी मीटर इज अगेन बीन लोअर डाउन इन टू और इट इज बीन मेड इंसुलेटेड बाय पुटिंग अनदर एयर जैकेट एंड वॉटर जैकेट ये एयर जैकेट दिख रहा है और ये क्या दिख रहा है वॉटर जैकेट ठीक है सो दैट द होल ऑफ द असेंबली बिकम्स इंसुलेटेड और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से देर शुड नॉट बी एनी एक्सचेंज ऑफ रेडिएशन और हीट इधर फ्रॉम इन साइड टू आउट साइड और फ्रॉम आउट साइड टू इन साइड एम आई क्लियर वन मोर थिंग वाई वी हैव बीन यूजिंग बेक्समैन थर्मामीटर वी हैव बीन यूजिंग बेक्समैन थर्मामीटर बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द स्मॉलेस्ट और द स्लाइटेस्ट चेंज विच इज बीन टेकिंग प्लेस इन द वॉटर ओके ठीक है तो अभी आप समझ में आएगा कि कैसे स्मॉलेस्ट एंड द स्लाइटेस्ट चेंज क्यों है और क्यों जरूरत पड़ेगी एंड इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आल्सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू कि बिक्स में थर्मामीटर बेसिकली इज बीन यूज टू फाइंड आउट द टेम्परेचर अप टू अ रेंज ऑफ वन बाय हंड्रेड यस डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके फाइन अब ये तो हो गया आपका छोटा सा कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट आई होप द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट इज बीन क्लियर इफ इट इज क्लियर प्लीज put yes in the chat box sab so gaye kya all are sleeping or what okay afnan ashar samiksha aman zaid they are active huh? ayushi chaure all are active right now Rest are sleeping, I suppose, or they ran away. All are active. Very good, good, good. Very good, good. Shall I proceed further? Is it clear? Is the construction part समझ में आ गया? Diagram समझ में आ गया? नहीं construction part समझ में आ गया? Okay, चलो good. No, ma'am, not sleeping. Bilal, नहीं सोना. Navid, you are asking, uh, ma'am, in Bakesman thermometer there is uh, mercury. Of course, dear, in all the thermometers we have been using mercury because mercury is very sensitive to slightest change in temperature. Yeah. ठीक है अब आगे बढ़ते हैं. अभी हम देखते हैं कि how this basically works. The first part is that you need to clean the bomb. You need to wash it. You need to see to it that earlier if it was being used. so all the impurities everything should be washed away right it should be washed away nicely it should be dried and then it should we should start with the assembly part so we'll take the bomb dried washed clean one we'll place it in the copper calorie meter first we'll arrange the stainless steel crucible in stainless steel crucible for example let us assume ki we wanted we are interested in finding out uh, the finding out what the calorific value of a given sample of coal for example okay akram khan is saying no he didn't understood you must have joined late dear aap late join kiya class mein isliye samjha nahi hai 
what you didn't understood please let me know so that it will be repeated in the next class or uh, if possible i'll try to explain the question here itself yes akram kya nahi samjha bata de to so that i'll take up your question after explaining the working of bomb calorie meter now see we have cleaned everything has been done here cleaning ho gaya hai right now let us find out the calorific value of a coal sample for example okay so we'll prepare the coal sample first we'll take the coal sample we'll uh, grind it it should be dried no doubt we'll grind it we'll make convert that into a powder form and with the help of a pellet making machine we are going to make a pellet theek hai kya banayenge uska pellet pellet matlab a form of a small tablet of 0.5 to 1 gram yeah. after making the pellet we are going to lower down the pellet here into the stainless steel crucible yahan par hum chhota sa pellet rakh denge fine we are going to assemble the magnesium fused wire which has been wounded with cotton thread okay we are going to put the cap back now before putting the cap we are going to fill this part with water i'll tell you why water is being used here water means we we'll, not fully but we are going to put 10 ml or 5 ml or 20 ml or 25 ml of water will be like a there inside the bomb here from here here the calculated quantity of water will be placed here theek okay? hai so we are going to lower down the electrodes we are going to put the cap back we are going to screw it up so that nothing comes out nothing goes in right then we are going to lower this bomb into the copper calorie meter okay the copper calorie meter will be filled with water it will be filled with water okay now then after filling it with water the cap will again be put back so that nothing comes in nothing goes out and the whole of this bomb calorie meter will be made insulated by air jacket or with the help of water jacket okay now next with the help of or with the help of uh, oxygen pump and all with the help of oxygen cylinder we are going to pump in 25 to 35 atmospheric pressure oxygen into this area ठीक है वाई वी आर पुटिंग एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो दैट कंप्लीट कम्बोशन टेक्स प्लेस ठीक है इनकम्प्लीट कम्बोशन कब होगा जब ऑक्सीजन की कमी होगी हमें यहाँ क्या करना है कंप्लीट कम्बोशन करवाना है इसलिए हम क्या करेंगे इसके अंदर ऑक्सीजन पंप इन करेंगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्यूब इलेक्ट्रोड ओके एंड बोथ द इलेक्ट्रोड विल बी कनेक्टेड टू अ सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी अग्रीड यस इतना हो गया नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द practical what we need to do is ki we need to find out sorry we need to find out just a second we need to find out what is the temperature of this water okay it should be constant so what we are going to do is ki we are going to start the stirring hai na electrically driven stirrer is there with us we'll agitate the water continuously and we are going to monitor the temperature of the water through bexman thermometer so after doing this process continuously agitating and finding the therm or checking the thermometer we'll find out after maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes the water or the temperature of the whole bomb calorimeter become constant right okay we are using bexman thermometer as i told you we'll be finding out the temperature minus or the slightest change up to 1 by 100th degree celsius slightest change will also be cast up or it all will be seen in the bexman thermometer so karna kya hai aadha ghante tak continuously stirring karte rahenge taki andar aur bahar ka jo temperature hai andar aur pura calorie meter ke andar ka jo bhi temperature hai wo kya ho jayega ek jaisa ho jayega to wo hame kaun bata raha hai water bata raha hai to water ne hame bata diya temperature so this temperature becomes the initial temperature of the warm calorie meter agreed theek hai after that what we are going to do we are going to turn the 6 volt battery abhi hum 6 volt battery ko kya karenge on kar denge jaise hum battery ko switch on karte hain to what will happen if the current flows through the magnesium wire dono jab magnesium wire aapas mein judenge to kya hoga like spark produce hoga मैंने आपको पहले बताया था कि द मैग्नीशियम वायर इज बीन वाउंडेड उसके ऊपर हमने कॉटन थ्रेड को लपेट के रखा हुआ है क्लियर 
सो so, वो जो लपेटा हुआ कॉटन थ्रेड है वो स्पार्क से क्या करेगा जलने लगेगा एंड जब वो जलने लगेगा तो हमारे पास यहाँ जो हमने कोल uh, सैंपल रखा था इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्मॉल पेलेट दैट स्टार्ट बर्निंग राइट जब कम बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन कंप्लीट कम्बशन विल टेक्स प्लेस ईयर समझा कंप्लीट कम्बशन स्टार्ट ईयर तो जितना भी कोल सैंपल हमने दिया था दैट स्टार्ट बर्निंग दैट इज दैट इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ बाई प्रोडक्ट दैट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी whatever energy which is been produced here is been taken up by the water which is been surrounding the bomb calorimeter yes copper calorimeter ke andar jo pani hai that water basically takes up the heat right so heat whatever change in the or whatever heat which has been transferred in the water is been taken up or it is been you can see it has been calculated in terms of temperature by bakesman thermometer so after certain time you will find another change in temperature that is t2 so we got two temperature initial temperature and final temperature so this process of monitoring the temperature is been repeated till half an hour why because whatever by product which is been formed inside uh, the bomb calorimeter will be cooled yes theek hai so they will be cooled so whatever latent heat which was been there it has been taken up by the water and it has been uh, reflected in bakesman thermometer agreed samajh mein aaya yes now there must be one question in your mind ki why we filled or why we have used calculated quantity of water in the calorimeter see before that you know ki coal is been made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur i told you this earlier also so carbon on combustion produces co2 and energy agreed hydrogen on combustion produces water sulfur and nitrogen on combustion produces either oxides of sulfur or oxides of nitrogen agreed and oxygen basically supports in combustion agreed yes cheeze hame pata hai what is been happening here what is been happening here is ki whatever n2 and s2 was there it is been taken up by the water so you see the formation of acid here so oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur basically is being taken up by the water and we see the formation of acid okay so this water will be sent for testing so that we find out the percentage of nitrogen and sulfur which is be there in the coal so this water which we have used here will be used as a tool for finding out the percentage of nitrogen and sulfur इन द कोल सैंपल सो एनालिसिस का भी काम यहां पर हो जाता है इज इट क्लियर नाउ इज इट क्लियर सी हियर देर इज अ क्वेश्चन टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्रेशर इफ इट्स नॉट बींग ब्रिंग प्लेस अंडर हाई टेम्परेचर See, we are using only one point five to one gram of coal sample. Yes, है ना? Coal sample बहुत थोड़ा सा है. वो जो spark produced हुआ है, with the help of magnesium fuse wire, is sufficient for. You can say it is very much sufficient for burning. Okay, and here twenty five to thirty five atmospheric pressure oxygen is also being used. So this much is okay. for this experiment right we need not change the capacity of the battery 6 volt battery is sufficient to produce a spark which helps in the ignition okay fine aur dusri cheez ki zarurat nahi hai 6 volt is sufficient for this experiment because we are using very small amount of coal sample just to produce spark i mean we are requiring 6 volt battery apan andar ja ke usko jala nahi sakte है ना तो अपन को बाहर से कुछ ना कुछ मेथड uh, से या बाय वे वी नीड टू इनिशिएट द कम्बशन एंड टू इनिशिएट द कम्बशन वी रिक्वायर्स अ सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी दैट इज सफिशिएंट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर एम एन वाई वी आर यूजिंग सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी जस्ट टू प्रोड्यूस अ स्मॉल स्पार्क फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ओके वी कैन नॉट पुट द बॉम कैलरी मीटर ऑन Uh, furnace or in fl on flame or on burner we cannot do that why Be because we wanted to find out the calorific value calorific value is very sensitive hmm? 
जरा सा हमने बाहर से कुछ भी चीज देंगे तो बढ़ जाएगी कैलोरीफिक वैल्यू तो हमें पता करना है कि स्पेसिफिक जो कोल सैंपल या जो भी नॉन वोलेटाइल लिक्विड फ्यूल दिया है उसका कैलोरीफिक वैल्यू कितना है इसके लिए हमें बाहर से नई चीजें एड ऑन करनी नहीं है एम आई क्लियर यस ओके क्लियर नो लेट एस प्रोसीड सो द सेम थिंग हैज बीन रिटर्न हियर इन वर्किंग नोन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रीड आउट बिकॉज इन वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग लेट एस सी Known weight of 0.5 to 1 gram of finely ground coal is accurately weighed, and it has been converted into a small pellet with the help of a pellet making machine, and then placed into the crucible. The crucible is supported over the ring. A fine magnesium wire touching the fuel sample is being stretched across the electrode. The bomb lid is tightly screwed so that the bomb is being filled with oxygen to 25 to 30 atmospheric pressure. The bomb, the bomb has been kept in copper calorie meter. The starter has been started. After five minutes, see, it, I'm saying after five minutes, but practically we need to take at least half an hour for finding out the exact temperature of the water. After five to twenty-five minutes, the temperature of the water has been noted. The electrodes are then connected to six to twelve battery to ignite the fuel sample. The heat produced by burning of fuel has been transferred to water. Which has been stirred throughout the experiment. Stirring has been done continuously. Maximum temperature shown by the tem thermometer has been recorded. So we get two temperature: initial temperature and final temperature. The stirrer is being stopped and the bomb is being removed from the calorie meter. After an hour, the content of the bomb has been washed into a beaker and the amount of sulfuric acid and nitric acid present in the solution has been determined. That is why we have used certain amount of water. See, in books you will not be getting everything written in detail. So what you need to do, you need to read in between the lines. ना दो lines के बीच में क्या meaning आता है आपको वो पढ़ना है. So that is basically been done by a faculty. Okay. Now coming to the calculation part. समझा क्या? Uh, Mohammad Sohail, you are asking a question. Instead of stainless steel, this instrument can be made with titanium. Dear, titanium is too costly. You know, no one will be able to afford it. So, just to make it easily accessible to all the companies, to all the people who are interested in finding out the calorific value of any of the component, then that's why for this reason, the bomb is being made with authentic stainless steel. एक और चीज यहाँ बोल दो बॉम कैलोरी मीटर बहुत कॉस्टली है इट कॉस्ट अबाउट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और मोर ठीक है इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन है ये तो इट इज वेरी कॉस्टली और जैसा ये दिख रहा है सिंपल उतना सिंपल है नहीं वी आर जस्ट टेलिंग यू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अ स्मॉल डायग्राम बट वेन यू डू द थिंग्स प्रैक्टिकली इट इज रियली वेरी टीडियस एंड इट इज यू कैन से इट रिक्वायर्स वेरी मेटिकुलसली कैन से परफॉर्मेंस ओके Clear. Gazi Gay, please change your name. I wanted to see your name. This is not a name. Next time, I wanted to see the names, huh? Droizi. Yeah, yeah. It's not good. Look, they. You should have some. You know, you have beautiful names being given by your parents. So please use those names. Hmm. Right. Chale. Further. Moving further. On the calculation part, you will be getting four marks question on either bomb calorie meter or boy's calorie meter, or on Joule's formula. So it, this unit is pretty scoring. So moving ahead with the calculation part, let us assume certain quantities. Let us let the weight of sample taken be m gram, small m gram. Okay. Let the weight of water taken in the calorie meter is w gram, capital W gram. Let the water equivalent of calorie meter, bomb, thermometer, stirrer is taken as small w gram. Water equivalent of calorie meter, bomb, thermometer. That means it is the, nothing but the th energy associated with all of these, or the amount of space which has been taken up by all the things has been taken in terms of w gram. Okay, we know two things: initial temperature of water, T one. 
right and the final temperature of water that is t2 degree celsius let us assume that the gross calorific value of fuel sample which has been taken for the experiment is theta calories per gram okay to hame kya pata hai heat liberated on combustion of fuel is m theta m kitna tha the amount of mass which we have taken for the combustion it can be 0.5 1 2 3 anything and heat obtained will be theta so the total heat liberated by the combustion of the fuel will be m into theta so heat absorbed by the calorimeter will be how much capital w plus small w into t2 minus t1 final temperature minus initial temperature theek okay? hai so whatever heat which has been absorbed is taken up by the water so we need to add the weight of the water into the water equivalent we need to multiply it by the difference in temperature okay हमें ये भी पता है कि हीट अब्जॉर्ब इज इक्वल टू हीट लिबरेटेड जितना हीट अब्जॉर्ब हुआ होगा उतना ही हीट लिबरेट हुआ है तो लेट्स सी हीट अब्जॉर्ब हमने पहले निकाल लिया था और हीट लिबरेटेड भी हमने दोनों निकाल लिया था सो वी आर व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इट वी आर जस्ट इक्वलाइजिंग इट एम थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू इंटू टी टू माइनस टी वन लेटेस्ट मूव दिस एम टूवर्ड्स वन साइड सो दैट थीटा रिमेन्स एट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड तो थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट इट इज W plus W into T2 minus T1 upon M. ठीक है तो what is theta? Theta is gross calorific value. Clear? Yes or no? Now for more accurate result. अभी ये जो भी आया that is a crude result. But this is not the end of the story. We need to find out. We are very much uh, in you can say inclined toward finding out the accuracy in the calorific value because calorific value measurement is been the characteristic feature of any of the fuel okay so for a more accurate result we are going to follow certain corrections what are the corrections let's see correction abbreviation is small t capital a you know ta fuse wire correction tf cotton thread correction tt cooling correction tc okay now what you can see here is ek man mein question aaya hi hoga na ki ye kyu kar rahe correction why we are going with all the correction hai man mein question hai see we are doing the correction i'll tell you in a very simple way do you remember the definition for gross calorific value what was that it was the total heat which has been evolved after the complete combustion of unit mass of fuel and the by product of the combustion has been allowed to cool at room temperature yaad hai kya do you remember yes okay fine hai na yes or no clear yes yes hai na right so what we are doing here is if you remember the diagram which i have shown you earlier in that we have allowed to cool down all the by products at room temperature that means stirring was been done continuously for half an hour okay so whatever gases which was been produced after the combustion was cooled agreed yes or no so the total energy was been taken up by the water so in gross calorific value we are having so many things fine one of the thing is Okay, one of the things which has been added in the gross calorific value is the acid correction. ये तो हम हमारे पास हमने अभी add कर ही लिया है ना theoretically तो हमें निकालना है practically हमने उसको add करके रखा है पहले से GCV जब निकाला था ठीक है लेकिन हमें corrections करने पड़ेंगे ना सही value निकालने के लिए तो acid correction किया है अब acid correction क्यों किया है because formation of acid is an exothermic reaction. Agreed. water reacts with nitric acid or sulf oh, sorry uh, oxides of nitrogen or oxides of sulfur it forms nitric or sulfuric acid which is exothermic in nature heat produced hui thi wo heat kisne le li pani ne le li to abhi mere paas jo crude gcv hai usme mere paas acid heat bhi hai yes or no yes acha fuse wire correction humne magnesium fuse wire use kiya tha usme se spark produce hua tha yes yeah तो वो स्पार्क ने क्या किया था इग्निशन इनिशिएट किया था लेकिन दैट स्पार्क आल्सो कंटेन सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू 
हमने वो भी ले लिया है पहले हमें उसका भी ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा ठीक है अच्छा स्पार्क वॉज नॉट सफिशियंट हेंस फोर्थ वी हैव यूज वॉट कॉटन थ्रेड है ना कॉटन थ्रेड बाउंड किया था तो हमको क्या करना पड़ेगा कॉटन थ्रेड ने भी जलने के बाद कुछ ना कुछ एनर्जी दी होगी जो हमने क्रूड जी में ऑलरेडी ले चुके हैं तो हमें वो भी क्या करना है देखना है उसका भी पता करना है राइट उसके बाद आता है कूलिंग करेक्शन अच्छा पानी जब हीट ले लेता है तो उसने तो हीट ले लिया है लेकिन थोड़े देर बाद वो हीट वापस भी तो देगा बिकॉज इट विल कम बैक टू इट्स नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर यस तो सर्ट आफ्टर कूलिंग सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ हीट विल बी गिवन आउट सो दैट वी नीड टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन ठीक है चार करेक्शन हमको करने हैं एसिड करेक्शन फ्यूज वायर करेक्शन कॉटन थ्रेड करेक्शन एंड cooling correction so I, all the abbreviations is been written with the name you need to follow those up let's see what happens when all the correction are been incorporated so jo purana wala hamara equation tha kaun sa wala tha gcv equals to theta into w plus w t2 minus t1 upon m tha na now after incorporating all the corrections the equation is as follows w plus w into t2 minus t1 plus tc पानी ने भी तो हीट लेके रखा है दट हीट हैज टू बी टेकन आउट एंड इट हैज टू बी एडेड टू इट हेंस फोर सी कूलिंग करेक्शन इज बीन एडेड वेयर एज द अदर करेक्शन आर बीन सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द टोटल रॉस कैलरिफिक वैल्यू वट आर द करेक्शन विच इज बीन सब्ट्रैक्टेड दट इज एसिड वैल्यू करेक्शन फ्यूज वायर करेक्शन एंड कॉटन थ्रेड करेक्शन अपॉन एम रिमेन्स सेम Agreed. Now, when you get GCV, we will be finding out NCV. ये हमने पहले की क्लास में पढ़ लिया था. NCV is equals to GCV minus nine into H upon hundred into five eighty seven. The things have been corrected now. GCV. We are just simplifying it. GCV equals. I'm uh, sorry. NCV is equals to GCV minus zero point zero nine into H into five eighty seven, where H is the percentage of hydrogen in the fuel. Yes. Now see, let us find out how we can do the corrections individually. Fine. देखिए हमें practically करना नहीं है हमें वो T A T T T F T C सब की values will be given to us. We just simply need to put all the values into the numerical into the formula, and we do we need to calculate G C V and N C V. So there are various. It is not so easy. I am been explaining you in just simple words. But when you go for the correction, it really takes time. So we Adil, we can easily find out the correction, है ना हमारे सिलेबस में करेक्शंस डिटेल में नहीं है बट वी शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ द करेक्शन नाउ कैन यू सी हियर सो वेन द सल्फर एंड द नाइट्रोजन इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फ्यूल दे हैव बीन ऑक्सीडाइज टू सल्फ्यूरिक एंड नाइट्रिक एसिड रिस्पेक्टिवली अलॉन्ग विद द एवल्यूशन ऑफ हीट कैन यू सी एस प्लस ओ टू गिव एस ओ टू एस ओ टू एंड एच टू इट फॉर्म्स एच टू एस ओ फोर ये वो वाला वो वाटर है जो हमने टेन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एल पानी लिया था ठीक है ओके फाइन सो यू सी नथिंग बट द एवल्यूशन ऑफ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ हीट सो इट हैज टू बी करेक्टेड ओके सो द करेक्शन मस्ट बी एस फॉलोज तो थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स कैल शुड बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम ईच एम एल ऑफ एन बाई टेन एच टू एस ओ फोर And 1.43 calories should be deducted from each ml of N by 10 HNO3. So you just need to remember these because you are going to get a question on the corrections. Okay, fine. Next is fuse wire correction. That is TF. The measured heat also includes the heat given by the ignition of the fuse wire, and hence it must be subtracted from the total heat liberated. Now, this fuse wire correction—you uh, just need to remember how it is being done. It is not your cup of tea. What is it? We just measure the thickness of the wire and how much amount of energy is being given in one spark. So that is being considered here. So it is being calculated in terms of calories. cotton thread correction the correction of the cotton thread used for firing the fuel has been calculated from the weight of dry cotton thread used and it should be de de deducted or deduced from the total heat liberated kitna mota cotton thread liya tha kitna lamba liya tha everything is been found out and there are certain values which is been given for uh, the cellulose 
certain amount of energy is also been given by the cellulose that has been multiplied to the weight and the length of the cotton and then we find out the heat which has been produced by the cotton thread and it has to be subtracted okay next is cooling correction see if the time taken for the water in the calorimeter to cool from the maximum temperature to room temperature is x minute and the rate of cooling is dt degree per minute then the cooling correction will be x into dt this should be added to the rise in the temperature that is t2 minus t1 may we need to add this so this cooling correction is been taken care or it is been expressed in terms of degree celsius clear okay so i hope uh, the topic has been clear to you just want it ha huh? just wanted to repeat the slide once again last one end of the experiment or after going through the process of finding out the calorific value with the help of worm calorimeter we found out that gcv can be calculated with the following formula that is capital w plus small w into t2 minus t1 plus tc tc is nothing but the cooling correction and it is in degree celsius okay and the other corrections are been subtracted from the gcv fine that is acid value correction fuse wire correction and cotton thread correction okay so when we find out gcv we can easily find out ncv given if percentage of hydrogen is been given clear yes now do we have any question adil i suppose i have cleared your query now how you can do the correction in your examination you will be given the values directly aapke examination mein all the values all the corrections will be given to you directly you just simply need to put the correction in the correction in the formula and then just find out the uh, final value of gcv or ncv so reference book which i am been using here is ss dara and jn and jn that's all we have for today's class thank you dear students if you have any question you may please uh, post it in chat box mohammad soil you have a question heat supplied by fuse wire will always be constant in every process of using the instrument uh, as we are always using the same standard fuse and same voltage yes of course but sometimes what happen ki uh, wire may break if we go for some other wire so the thickness may varies so keep in in mind the thickness and the length we need to find out the you, know, you can say the correction fuse wire correction for a specific length and thickness of magnesium wire clear any more question sohail is it clear we are using the same voltage but wire ki thickness or length kabhi bhi change ho sakti hai because see there are human errors also while doing the while calculating the calorific value so we need to incorporate all sorts of parameters before before um, telling the final value of gcv or ncv uh miss rahimin mean rahimin we want some examples to solve to be more clear of course yes we will be carrying out certain calculation i'll be going i'll be telling you certain numericals based on this so everything becomes clear so right now is the theory part clear we haven't come to the numerical part yet so don't worry about that सी कूलिंग करेक्शन क्यों जरूरी है क्यों ऐड करना पड़ता है देखिए हमने क्या किया था वाटर वॉज सराउंडिंग द कैलरी मीटर अग्री है ना ठीक है अभी हम क्या कर रहे हैं वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट द जी सी बी डायरेक्टली नहीं कर रहे हैं हम इनडायरेक्टली निकाल रहे हैं अब इनडायरेक्टली निकालने के लिए हमने वी आर यूजिंग वाटर एज अ बेस अग्री अभी पानी में क्या हुआ था हमने पहले इनिशियल टेम्परेचर पता कर लिया था अभी नेक्स्ट स्टेप में हमने क्या किया है जैसे ही पानी ने हीट अब्जॉर्ब करी तो वी फाउंड आउट टी टू 
अब वो हीट किसकी थी हीट तो बहुत सारे लोगों की थी ना बहुत सारे पैरामीटर्स की हीट उसने अब्जॉर्ब कर लिया था तो हमने वो सारे पैरामीटर्स को हमने माइनस कर दिया लेकिन पानी ने जो फ्यूल की जो हीट ले ली थी अब वो हीट भी तो वो क्या करेगा एनवायरमेंट के साथ एक्सचेंज करेगा ना यस और नो सो हमें क्या करना है वो कूलिंग करेक्शन भी निकालने हैं यानी पानी जब ठंडा होगा तो वो कुछ अमाउंट में हीट देगा तो वो हीट को हमने यहाँ एड ऑन किया है इफ यू जस्ट गो एंड चेक द फॉर्मूला यू विल सी टीटा इज इक्वल्स टू कैपिटल डब्ल्यू प्लस स्मॉल डब्ल्यू इंटू टी टू माइनस टी वन यस टी टू माइनस टी वन प्लस टी सी यस और नो ना माइनस जस्ट सेकेंड माइनस T F my plus T T plus T A. एक मिनट लेट मी चेक इट आउट अपॉन एम ये एक फॉर्मूला था यस था ना इसलिए हमने क्या किया कूलिंग करेक्शन को यहां पर ठीक है Uh, at present, we will not be talking about numerical. Let me complete first the theoretical part, then we'll start with the numerical part. Okay? Yes. Any more question you have? Any more question you have? If you have any more question, if you have question, please let me know, so that. I may answer your query. I'm been posting the attendance link in your class room. Okay. Do you have any other questions, or everything has been fine? Ah, uh, Suraj, I'll tell you. I'll give you at least. 15 to 20 numericals on each topic don't you worry i have pretty good amount of numericals with me so if you have any doubt related to this topic please exp- uh, ask me right now so that uh, the things becomes clear today itself any other question if i have missed i suppose i have answered all the question uh, suraj ko bol diya hai will i'll give you a numerical how ma'am how we find correction ayushi repeating again and again you just need to know why we are doing the correction what is the reason behind doing the correction and how the correction is to be added to your or subtracted to your gcv that's it no one is going to ask you to calculate the correction independently okay aapko correction ki values directly di hui rahegi and aapko phir wahi uh, sirf solve karna hai numerical That's all. Or kuch? No, ma'am. All clear. Shreya. No, ma'am means everything is clear. Yeah, kuch bhi samjha nahi. No, ma'am. All clear. Acha. Shreya. All clear. Very good. Talib, abhi to samjhaya. T C ko add kyu kar rahe hain? Kyunki energy pani ne le liya tha. ठीक है यस yes? अब वो जो एनर्जी पानी ने ले लिया था हमको वो एनर्जी पे तो देखनी पड़ी कि भाई कितना लिया था वो डिफरेंस पानी भी तो थोड़ी बहुत एनर्जी अपने अंदर छुपा लेता है ना वो एनर्जी भी हम क्या करेंगे निकाल लेंगे करेक्शन करेंगे ठीक है बाकी क्या क्या हो रहा है बाकी की वैल्यूज को सब टैक्ट इसीलिए कर रहे हैं क्योंकि उससे जीसीवी बढ़ रहा है बाय प्रोडक्ट हो गए ना बहुत सारे देखो स्पार्क एनर्जी बाहर से मिली वो गलत चीज थी यस और नो ठीक है कॉटन थ्रेड जला वो बाहर की चीज थी जिसने एनर्जी दे दी उसको हमको हटाना पड़ेगा एसिड बन रहा है वहां क्यों क्योंकि तो कोल में नाइट्रोजन हो सकता है सल्फर हो सकता है ठीक है वो जलेगा तो एसिड बनाएगा अगर एसिड बनेगा तो वो भी एनर्जी देगा तो ये एनर्जी को सब इसलिए करना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि हमारे पास जो जीसीवी निकलेगी ना वो हम गलत इन्फॉर्मेशन देंगे जो भी हमसे पूछ रहा है तो हमको सामने जो जिसने भी इन्फॉर्मेशन हमसे जीसीवी की मांगी है उसको हमको सही इन्फॉर्मेशन देनी है इसलिए हमें सारी गलतियां जो है ना हो रही हैं या एड ऑन हो रही है चीजें पीछे तो सारी क्या करनी पड़ेगी सब करनी पड़ेगी ठीक है तभी आपको एग्जैक्ट जीसीवी मिलेगा अभी क्लियर है तालिब खान सेवन
अभी ये क्वेश्चन आप पूछ रहे हैं नोट्स कब मिलेंगे ना ये सब बात की बात है अभी आप जस्ट ध्यान दीजिए कॉन्सेंट्रेट कीजिए पढ़ाई में इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द टीचर द फैकल्टी ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट ही और शी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू विद द नोट्स एट द अर्लीस्ट अभी दो दिन ही हुए हैं टेंशन ना लो वी आर मोर वरिड अबाउट यू आपसे ज्यादा हम लोग थोड़े से चिंतित हैं काइंडली गिव द अटेंडेंस गायत्री गेजी गेज गायत्री एस सपोज ओके गायत्री यू कैन यूज एस एस दारा जैन एंड जैन फॉर इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री ओके फाइन तो डू यू हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन डू हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन Do you have any other question? No question. Okay. Thank you so much, dear students. Signing off for today. Have a great day. And at the end of the lecture, let me wish every one of you who has been present here in my class a very happy Shivaji Jayanti. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay indoor. Take very good care of yourself and your family. Thank you. Have a nice day.